when we get there, but I guarantee you this is going to be better than an auction video, so please, make sure you watch it. Aha! I hope you can hear me, it's a little bit windy. Right, here we are on the A20. We are literally, let me get out of this wind a bit. We are literally quarter of a mile from Brands Hatch in Kent. We are here at Oasis Calf, where I have been invited to have a look out the back. Now then, I'm going to do a very, very, um, just look at that lot. Untouched, 50 years. And I've been invited to have a look, because apparently there's some old engines. But I want to show you, we've just had a very agreeable lunch in here. Thank you very much. And yes, we'll have a look inside. And you'll see this cafe is literally like walking into a time warp. It is astounding in here. There are just not places like this available. There really, you just don't see places like this anymore. Look at this all this old signage here it is beautiful in here so if you're ever on the a20 come in here and have some food it is fabulous and we come around this side there's just artifacts everywhere handwritten bargeware things absolutely beautiful the owner used to be into his fairground and carnival rides hence why there's a theme of carnival theme but if we look down the back, look at this motorcycle. And you would not believe the weight of this thing. Made out of wood. These are like fishtails off of um, motorcycle, you know, rear silencers. So you know, put them together, wheel trim off a car. And it weighs a ton, but that is so beautiful. Old wooden horses little triangle tricycle this is just some really nice stuff really nice so this place is phenomenal absolutely lovely so here's the owner who's kindly give us breakfast there's mrs man cave there's our lovely cooks cooking in the back there sure they don't want to be on youtube but they're going to be hi say hi there you go <laughs> right so, in here, it, say, it is beautiful. So, yeah, if you're ever down this way, come in here. Look at this artwork here. An old autoplay piano. Look at the bonnet, handwritten. Step tool, look. All hand sign written. Hand sign written signs. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll show you stuff. Look at the old signs, ice cream van. That's where we're going to be exploring, which is what I'm here for. Look at that engine. But yeah, 
until a couple of weeks ago, all that area there you couldn't get into because it was grown up with rubbish. And the guy has been slowly clearing it in preparation for me coming. So in a short while, we will be getting out there and looking through some of them sheds. But we're just going to have a look in here to start with how lovely this place is. Anyhow, we'll be going. We'll be, oh, look at all this stuff here. I've just been pointing. Can I go around the back here? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So if we come around the back, here we go. Look at all this stuff on the shelves. A very un-PC gollywog. Ain't he lovely though? I used to collect them off the Robinson's jar, the little pin buttons. Look at all the old stuff here, old tins, you know. Oh yes, and there's so many old original bits here as well. Not a load of repop rubbish, a lot of this is the real McCoy. Oh look at that aero engine, how did I not tweak that before? There's a three cylinder radial engine look. Oh, he's a booby. There we go. Look at all this stuff there. Oh, can we get that engine down? Oh, is that actually part of an ornament? Oh, oh no, I separate. I thought I was part of a little man for a minute. Oh, that is honey. Never been down. Wow, that looked like a functioning engine. It's very light. You what? Know, I think it might be a copy, isn't it? It's a good copy if it is. Is that a copy of a double or something? No, no, no that's, a, that's a radial aero engine. I know nothing about aero engines, but that is sweet, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? It's very light, like you say. Mm. But if that's built for a model aircraft, that would be light, wouldn't it? Light, wouldn't it? Yeah, it have to be light. I just don't know whether that's a... Obviously that propeller ain't connected to that engine at all, but... I don't think so, no, yeah, it's just free spinning. That is really sweet, I didn't see that. Anyhow, guys, we're not here to be looking at this, but I do love it. We will get out the back and have a look at some more stuff. Before you go, can I just say the food here is amazing? Yes, I've said, yeah, food is lovely. Food is, all, all the food is freshly cooked. It is freshly order. cooked here. So there's nothing waiting around or anything, it's all no. good to order and it is lovely. That, it's well worth coming down. That is very nice. That is very nice food. I'll say, look at this grill out of this lorry. Scammel, look at that. Jesus, that weighs a ton and all. Anyhow, we'll go out the back in a minute and have a look around all of this bit, what you can see on the aerial picture. When's this? 2006, this. And I've been assured that until a fortnight ago, it did not look like that. It had pretty much grown up. So we'll have a look out there and see what's in them sheds. But just look at some of these aerial pictures. Absolutely lovely. Is this the A20? Yep. Uh, so this is the A20 before it was... Oh, Kingston, yeah? King, yeah, that's where we That's are. where the calf is. Mm -hmm. So that's all open around there. Just the old house. Mm. Oh, some houses here. Look, yeah. Bloody hell. 1964, look how things have changed. Right, excellent stuff. We will be back in a bit. Ah, right man cavers, out we come. Sorry. Well, that's alright, we are coming out the back door. And the first thing we're going to look at... Ah, look at this for the mother of engines. I think this is one of them probably 16, 20 horsepower Crossleys. If you're wondering where the crank and flywheels are, we'll come at them in a bit. A look at the size of the Conrad. There. That is an absolute beast, isn't it? Actually looks pretty much all there. Lovely crossly. Look at these rocker arms on the front of these, look. Valve springs, look at them. Yeah, that is a, that'll be a lovely machine. That, I believe, is being picked up tomorrow. So let's come through the back and have a look about in here. Where do we start? Now, I've been told, under good authority from the gent, that these sheds, these two, we know what's in them. That's basically surplus stuff for the kitchen. This shed has not been opened in years. We don't even have a key for this lock. 
So at some point in this video we will be cutting this shed open to see what's in here. Is it this one we don't know what's in? Don't know. Don't know. And this one, what's got meter room on it, a bit grown up. But, oh my god, look at this engine crane. Jesus. But in there, we're also not quite sure. We need to get the lock off of this and open this one up. But they're going to take a bit of opening. We will be doing them in this video. Look at all these beautiful old signs about here. I say this basically has been untouched, as you can see, starting to be cleared. All up there apparently was a job to get to, till a couple of weeks ago. All up here apparently you couldn't really get through here, so they've now started to clear it and sort stuff out. Alright, let's have a look in here. Let's start this end with some old wine scales, sack scales. Oh, that big Leyland radiator in the back there, out of a lorry, look, look at him. Oh, you know I collect them bells, there's another one, look. And yes, some of this stuff will be coming home with Man Cave. There is an old diesel generator there, steel bender, settling bottles. Oh, there's some Kelter. There's a big old battery charger there. That's a nice one, actually. Cool. Yeah, I quite like that. An old bucket full of some bits. But then looky here. I believe this is a Bamford. Is that an S S S G three? I thought that was an S V three. That's an S G three Bamford. You know me in a Bamford. Very nice. Here, what have we got here? Now look at this for a compressor set. I've never seen a water-cooled compressor. And the top of the air filter has been turned out of wood. That is literally wood, powered by a Model 55 JAP Jap. In here, there's a very heavy generator. Look at that old dynamo in there with a flat belt. That needs putting on a trailer and mounting up to something. Light and display, phenomenal. Oh, wow. I'm trying to back out. Lovely old petrol can. Even stuff on the wall, like the old, is this a cigarette or no, it's a sweet machine, look. Put two shilling in there. Guards, sweet machine. We'll come, look at whiskers there, hello buddy. We'll come a bit further around. What do we have in this? There is a Lister CS61, or could be 51. Do these turn up? Cool. Excuse the wind today. Yes, yeah, she turned. There's some form of engine, I don't know, van engine, forklift engine, I don't know, three cylinder diesel, whatever it is. Look like Kabuta colours, but could not be. But they got the Lister with the flat pulley. And look at that for a coolant tank. Fuel tank, coolant tank. And I believe this compressor filled that tank up. But yes, I do like that compressor unit. Let's have another look. That's all basically rubbish. What have we got around here? Look at this old... That looked like one of them um, old pump-up fire extinguishers. Look at that, it's got a name on it, look. That's lovely. That, we have leaf springs, we have boat anchors, not one. Here, we have a pet of light set. Look at that. All oh, that beautiful little pet of M with the light set. All connected on its base plate. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now this, I'd never seen one of these before. And I've been given a lesson off the gentleman who tells me there was only ever four of these made. One, I think he said, was outside Buckingham Palace. The other was outside St. Paul's Cathedral. And yes, they did survive the war. Another one was outside somewhere else. And the fourth one, they don't know where it was, but it's ended up here. And it is. I'd never seen one of these. I thought it was a post box originally. But it's a fire alarm. 1906, so this would be First World War. And how did he get this off? Whoa. We lift this out, 
And when someone broke the glass in the front and pulled this handle, it sent a Morse code message look. There's a Morse code machine in there. And that looks like there's a pendulum in there, look. So that this thing would have obviously been wound up. And when, when this was tripped, that obviously come down to generate power. So this thing could do Morse code. I'm not going to go into this paperwork, so I don't want to disturb this. But it is an absolute, it weighs an absolute ton. Stands about seven feet tall. And yeah, it's a, that I'd never heard of, fire alarm. I mean, just look at it. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? So there you go, a Morse code fire alarm. We think 1906 is the year and our model number, so that would be First World War. Here is our flywheels to that crossley. And if you're wondering how big they are, they are very big. You know, we have five inch flywheels. All right, look at the size of that for a flat pulley bar. Ooh, she's a big one. Here we have some love. Look at this old electric meter lying on the floor. Look at that old electric meter. I just love it. This thing, this is a box of bulbs, you know. It's a military box and that's full of 110 bulbs in their own little compartments. Right, let's have a dig. Because some of these sheds we haven't been in yet. Now I've been told there's probably stationary engines in here and I would love to see what there is. Oh my word! <gasps> Look at all this calter! Oh my, oh my god, look at this! That looks like a little Stuart Sandhurst with a dynamo. Baby little open crank. Honestly, that engine is what? Ooh, 15 inches long. That flywheel is what? Eight, nine inch. That is adorable. Can we get some light on this subject? Or is this not helping? Look at that. Oh, there's remnants of an engine in the back there, flywheels. A Peta A1 here. What is this I didn't... Oh, how am I not... What is this thing? Is that a Ruston PT? Can I zoom out anymore? Is that a Ruston PT, guys? I believe this is a Ruston PT. Missing its carb, but I think they are just the same as a Woolsley. Cool. That's either sitting on the flywheel or she's seized. Pipe benders. There is just an array of beautiful stuff in here. Absolutely beautiful. What is this? This is a hopper and a head. There's a cylinder. There's a cylinder piston and gudgeon pin. Another hopper off some form of open crank. A big vice. Look at the hell I'm standing on everything. There's a head here. Off some, there's another engine block. Some of you guys might be able to recognise what this is. <gasps> Look in here. There's a rust. And could that be a ZPR? Cool. It seems to turn. <sighs> Oh, look at that. I hope that's complete. And there is just stuff galore here. This is a time warp. What is in here? Car parts, tractor grills. There's old signs just everywhere. I mean, Look at this stuff. A magneto. There's just stuff everywhere here. It really is. All right, let's come out of this shed without me hurting myself. Sorry it's windy today, but we are on the... Oh, let's come in this shed. There's a lathe. Look at this lathe. With its gear set. Wow, Man Cave so wants a lathe in his workshop. I didn't tweak this as here. On a big bench. 
This is lovely, absolutely lovely. We have some rolls of wire there, that's pretty thin stuff actually. That's the same. There's some cables. Oh my word, look at this. Car keys, FA series, FP series. All the old signs up there. I say, the guy was saying, oh, see, he don't think anyone's really been in here, you know, for years. Look at the tools on the tool wall. I hope you can see in here, the lighting's really bad. That's relatively modern. So that we've got this tool here. Look at this. Brand new box of 10 original AC spark plugs. Look at them. 14 mil reach. Brand new boxes of AC. I just love the app, but look at the font on them. Beautiful. There's just some lovely stuff. Old battery charger. Stuff. A change bowl, look. Out of a till, you dropped your money in and scooped. Brand new little pair of shock absorbers. Whoops, a daisy. And this is all being cleared soon, guys. All of this stuff is being cleared. And he said a lot of it will end up in the scrap. And it's a criminal shame, but who knows what this stuff's for. Lovely old set of shock absorbers here. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Let's come a bit through. I do like how there's a tree grown up and they've built the shed around a tree trunk. I kid you not. This is a tree trunk. <laughs> the shed's been built around a huge tree. But just look at all these parts here. Car parts. Clutches. Stuff. All these bits here. Look at this monster carburetor off something. Monster. Monster. There are just parts galore. Hoses. Alternators. More alternators, brake cylinders. Then we come in here. Wow! A bad Ford HA van look. It's even got the engine in it. Look at this. That's got windows as well. So that's a van, a HA van that put windows in. Let's see if we can get out of here. There it is. A Viva van. Isn't that beautiful? And that actually looks in relatively nice condition. Been sitting God knows how long. Look at that, an old English wheel. An English wheel, for goodness sake. Parts washer. All these old bits. Just an array of old bits. Beautiful old anvil. This is just, look at this hammer. Wow, that's a mallet and a half, isn't it? All right, we'll come round here. Now then, look at a man's organized toolbox. Look at, look at this tool wall. Air tools. Little bowl brack. Original signage, I think that one might be a copy from the years, but these, Bad Ford, Leyland, Big Vauxhall, Ford. These are all original. These are not Mickey Mouse. These are proper period. But look at that for someone who took pride in a set of pullers. There's the pullers and look at all the arms that jaws that come with it. A district like train memorabilia. These are obviously from the London Underground. Look at this tool wall though. Absolutely phenomenal. We got a load of tax disc holders, old tins up here with stuff, old oil cans hanging above it. Everywhere I'm looking here, I'm seeing stuff, and it's like back, it beggars belief. Tractor seats, tractor lights. Look at these for handbrake cables. What the hell are they off? Oh, this is phenomenal stuff here there is just stuff everywhere look at them for a set of g cramps 
Oh, we've had a look. Let's come over here and have a look in this one. <laughs> there is stuff literally everywhere. Look at that for an electronic sack truck. There you go, that's a remote fork truck. Can you see the back of this? Would you believe that's the back of a Lister auto truck? So I kid you not, that's the back platform. There is what looked like a, I think he said this was a gardener engine sitting on here. And here's the front of the auto truck. Two petrol tanks. Look at the lovely ornate grill on this thing. Look at that ornate grill on the front of that. That is one huge auto truck. I've never seen an auto truck quite so big. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Old, fair old um, living carts look. We have old living carts here. Isn't that lovely work? It's like a caboose style roof. Beautiful. Round here there is just the scrap pile. Max Arc. Now look at this for a welder generator with a three cylinder Coventry Climax petrol engine in look. Three pot. No, four pot. Oh, it turns. Yeah, it turns over. So do the generator. I reckon with a belt and some titivation that thing would go. Bilious compressor. This is where they've been clearing, as you can see, they've been clearing, making a burn pile. Ugh. Look at this old bed, board oh, horse lorry. Just look at that Bedford horse lorry. An old truck here in a various state of repair. We'll come in the back. Look at this. Apparently this was made by the fair guys, because as you can see by all the stuff here, the guy used to run small fairground rides, and apparently he made this. Wow, look at that. You have one engine couples on here and it drives two dynamos can you see that a generator on top of a generator or dynamo on a dynamo oh, phenomenal stuff look at these old fairground rides look at these unbelievable these are auxiliary fuel tanks off of these are not fiberglass these are actually these are actually tin and they're auxiliary fuel, auxiliary fuel tanks, did you say? Yeah, was, yeah. Aux auxiliary fuel tanks. You are? On a long distance bombers, they're auxiliary fuel tanks. Yep, yeah, long distance bombers, and they are original fuel tanks that were supplied, were a surplus after the war. And apparently, I didn't know this, but the, the fair people, the fair yeah, the show, showman, showman people. that's it, the showman used to buy them. Buy them, cut them out. And then cut them out and make them into the, the kids' roads. Right. And apparently these are proper Italian jet motorbikes, Italian jet, motorbikes. Italian jet motorbikes, and they were bought, and they were actually sort of stripped of a couple of bits and welded up to go on fairground rides. So what the kids sat on were actually proper little motorbikes. But as you can see, these have all had the steering sort of locked up, and some, you know, carbs took off the engines, basically, make them safe, I suppose. And so they are proper little motorbikes, which I didn't realise. There's more stuff. Was this a Gardner engine, you say? Yeah. Gardner 4? Yeah, 4LW. 4LW. Four I don't head. want to fall down that. Oh, there's water in that. Yeah, pit, I know. Right? You, well, you did fall down, you're drowning. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't want to be falling in that one. But yeah, look. Oh, there's even an old organ. Look at this lovely old pipe organ in here. That looked like that's in pretty good nick actually, that would work it, wouldn't it? It just missed the fire, it had just scorched it when we had the fire. Did it? And the sheet saved it, yeah. Yeah. We just uncovered it the other day and pushed it up in the corner here in the dry. That's lovely nick still, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is really nice. What's this engine on? Do you know what this that's one is? That's a petrol 300 Bedford engine. Oh, right. From a TK. Oh, that's out of a TK. Yeah, which meant to be equal power to a 330 diesel. All oh, right. Yeah, so she's six on the petrol, single carb on there. Yeah, pull everything but a petrol station. I like the trolley that's sitting on Well, yeah, that's one heck of a trolley. Look at the trolley, look. Make a good coffee table in an industrial That street. would make a nice coffee table, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we'll get on to some older stuff. 
Rustin, I believe this is an SP. I think this is an SP one. Probably, probably I do not know. Is that an SP? Let's see if we can be unhygienic and just wipe this plate off. Right, it's a size 6, class S. Yeah, it looks all complete, water cool. It's on a nice little trolley with wheels as well, actually. So, yes. Here we have... Oh, it's so dark in there. I hope you can see this, guys, but we there's no not even any electric in here. There is a radiator cooled Lister CS, and she's driving the mother of all water pumps. Look at that. That just needs recoupling on that flywheel, and it does the water pumps. There's another van engine, lorry engine under here. Don't really know anything about them, but what have we got in here? Look at these. All right, what have we got here? Let's start with a boat anchor. We don't want to say about a boat anchor. I think I've seen six of them things. Lister B commercial. High tank. Quite a nice little thing. That's a nice little engine. Here we have an old Peta M. Partially seized. Yeah, uh, and here we have an Amanco. God, oh, Jesus, that is. Oh my God, the splash guards rotted away. Magas missing. Everything is just seized up. Oh, what a shame. I think this old girl might be past saving. The springs have gone. Striker is there, though. Mixers there, possibly with a lot of effort that could be done. Here we have an SR or LR diesel, another pair of boat anchors. So we won't, uh, yeah, we won't sort of dwell too much on these damn things. Right, another Peta M here. That's a nice little thing on a trolley. Another Peta M here. Shame the oil is broken. But there's some lovely engines here. Right, I think we're gonna go now and we're gonna come back when we've um when we're gonna break into that other shed to see exactly what's in that um generator shed. Is there anything else to look at? Oh yes there is actually. So I do apologize for the light, but it's quite dark in there. Let's come in the back here. There's Mrs. Man Cave. So we're now going to come in the back here. What's in here? Look at all them wheels and pulleys in there. And a massive, massive generator covered in brambles in the floor here. Massive generator. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you doing? We're getting another man on YouTube here, look. He's got the hair for the camera. I take it your camera shy. All right, that man don't want to be on YouTube. Let me pause this so he can get out, because he's cornered at the minute. All right, we're back. Here we are. I've released the man from the corner. So we're looking at this lovely little three-wheel tractor. OTA. Absolutely beautiful little thing. Oak tree something, I think. I can't remember what he said. Anyhow, this is quite a, well, famous tractor, really. Because it was in the film The Staggered. Staggered, yeah. This Martin was last, Clunes. Martin Clunes was the last person to actually drive this or ride this. Of course, the film Staggered, some of it was filmed here. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. filmed here. And Martin Clunes was actually the last person to ride this. This is actually up for sale, isn't it? No, it's, it's my son. It's just saying he's yeah. going to keep it, is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we weren't sure whether this was, but no, the son's keeping this. But I don't blame him because look at it, it's a beautiful little thing. Absolutely beautiful little thing. So, yeah, nice little piece of history and a gorgeous little tractor. I just love the look of that. You know, it's a job to see, you know, exactly how big it is, really. But it isn't that big. It's a lot smaller than Grey Fergie. Nice little thing. What have we got in the back? Well, we've got some Bedford. What Bedford's this? Is this yeah, Bedford J2. That's a J2, is it? Yeah, with a 
Bedford J2. Bedford J2. Like a uh, Mr. D, like a boat anchor. A <laughs> boat anchor. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't oh, pull yeah. you out of bed on a wet day. Yeah, couldn't pull you out of bed on a wet day. Oh, this is lovely. I'll send a box of stuff over there and I ain't got a clue what it is. Oh, we, there isn't much to look at in here now, really. <laughs> look at all this calcolo. There is some stuff. I think you even got a spare wheel for this in the back there, haven't you? That's a tractor, yeah, spare wheel there. A little spare wheel for this one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's hard to come by, I think. Yeah. So, so I ain't really seen any of these tractors. No, Maybe a couple on rear, shows, but... Yeah, it's very nice. All the lorry parts in there. There's just stuff here everywhere. Is there anything in here? Oh... Oh my word, and look at all these old wheels, old car wheels. Look at them. Three stud artillery wheels, yeah. Artillery wheels, are they? Yeah. They're just wall art, if nothing else. They are beautiful. Box of mags and carbs. Boxes of little fuel tanks. So they look like they got japped. Look like a pair of diesel one in there. off anything yeah there's some lovely little bits in there look at this little tank here isn't that beautiful absolutely lovely there's a newspaper in the bottom I wonder if we can see a date on that just to be in the can we get our newspaper out we take these tanks out <laughs> interesting to see what years on that newspaper Can we get a date on that newspaper? <laughs> be interesting, isn't it? That one. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Wow, just after my birthday, 27th of March, 1979, look. There you go. <laughs> there you go. In a lovely old tin box. That's lovely. I like old newspapers. <laughs> right, look at them lovely old wheels. Aren't they nice? They'd be nice hang on the side of the shed on a hook. Bit of art. Marvellous. Where are we going to now? Whoops, hey mate. Cool. There's a set of steps. Which is a road to nowhere, look. I say we've Come looked the in there. Carriage. Did it? Yeah. Come out of the bar ah, so they can get to the top windows of the bus, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Cool. We're look. gonna fight the brambles. Feel free. What to go in there? You'd never get through it, I don't, I don't know what. Do you know what's in that? Nope. You don't know? No, I'm, I don't think I want to cut myself to pieces. To Oh, my God. There's a, oh, my God. That's a bit scary. They look like there's a dressed-up mannequin in there. <laughs> this thing? A refugee. <laughs> a refugee. Isn't this cool? Look at that little Nimrod. That is so cool. Yeah, that really is cool. I like that. Oh, how do we... Oh, you can't get into this at all. You cut yourself to pieces. But I'm itching to know exactly what's in there. Can we zoom a light in? Oh, that is... No, I can't... You can't make it out. It's just too grown up. This is a bit he hasn't sort of... He hasn't uh, sorted himself yet. Another old piece of fairground ride here. Look at that thing. Little car. Mrs. Man Cave on her phone. Uh, have we been around here yet? Oh, what have we got here? We have a bench grinder. She's a heavy one. Oh, there's another lorry. Look in here. See what I mean? This is a time warp. You do not find, well, Nissan diesel, I don't think that's original. Look at that, look at this engine and dynamo, look. Fur Jesus. Oh, my word, old milk churns, look at them old milk churns. Look. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Oh, I am walking over K rail. Walking over steps. Ah. Ha ha. 
Let's come around the back. There's a fairground ride. Look at this lovely old piece of art here. This old bad board grill. Look at these for dynamos. Generating sets. Sitting there. But the bloody thing must weigh three quarters of a ton. Front panel out of a coach in the back there. With Blackpool displayed in it. Oh, that's car got to come through. What's this? Some form of generator. Some pulleys. Here's the front of this coach, look. Whole front panel out of a coach. Excuse my ignorance when it comes to some of these coaches and cars because I really don't know anything about them. You know. But look at this poor old girl. Apparently that got destroyed in a fire. Not that many weeks ago. Somebody come in here. This was a whole lorry. And somebody came in here and sat light to this one. And yeah. Luckily it didn't catch the other one on fire. Because it burnt out further here. And now pushed it over. But yeah it was here somewhere. And it someone came in here and. Oh, the hooligans burnt the thing down. I mean, it's a shame. That would have been a lovely old truck. But the hoodlums have been in and burnt. Let's come here and look at this whole fairground ride. Look at this. Look at the little smiley faces there. Little mini me's. Look. Look at them. Tell you, still turn a living with that today. There we come in the back here. There's just more bits and pieces. Old Singer sight stands. Look at them. More land in there that the guy didn't even know he had. Because I say, I believe the gentleman and his wife has just inherited this off the original owner and they didn't even know they owned this bit of land in the back here. Phenomenal. They had to literally break through here to find they owned that bit of land. All through the back there, look. Here we have an old living caravan. Look at this living caravan here. A scrap pile, just a scrap pile. Roof and sheet tires. Living caravan, look at the size of that thing. Now that is no little one. Look at that number plate, 7213MX. I would love to know what vehicle that's off. Do your checks, guys. See if it comes up with anything. There we go. Let's see if we can see if we can cram up the side of this and see what we got in the front here. Oh my word! There are brambles. There's another fairground ride. Look, there is another fair ride buried in here. Ah, it's a four-wheel caravan, look, so you actually drag it on an Ava. But look at that, an old fairground ride in here. And I just can't get any further. There's a fallen down shed. We don't know what's in. I do hope you're enjoying this rummage as much as I am, guys. And I wish, I wish there was light in them sheds. But there just isn't enough light in there. Can we come in this? Oh, I opened inwards. Yeah. Oh, oh, we can go in here. Look, wow, there ain't no dead bodies in here, is there? No, no. Oh, look inside here. Oh, that looks mainly original. It is. Oh, bugger me, this is like a house on wheels, isn't it? Look at that ceiling in here. I had no idea these were this nice inside. Yeah, bedroom, wow. Bedroom in the end room. Can you go in there? Yeah, go yeah. In, yeah. Wow. Oh. oh my word. Look at this. There's a proper double bed in here. Everything is still so original. Yeah, yeah look. It's ready to go away and it? it's got all There's even clothes. someone's clothes in here. Yeah. Oh this is, look at the old lights up there still. And somebody's clothes. Wow. This thing's phenomenal. It's such nice condition as well. Look, the doors are like... This, this is the 
This was commissioned in 1960. Was that for a family? Yeah. Um, uh, I think it's Gordon and Raya were their names, uh, and they raised two children in it and travelled around on the showground in it. Did they? Showground, yeah. Raised two children to adulthood in it, and it's virtually unmarked. They must it's have really safe. treated it well. That's like new in us, like a time capsule, isn't it? It was towed behind a bit uh, a Foden S20. Was it? Around the country to the fairs, yeah. I cannot believe how well made these doors are. I mean, doors are not this well made in modern houses, let alone a caravan. This is workmanship. You feel, pull the door in that cupboard I open and feel the thickness of that door. What you the, pull that door open, feel the wood in there, and the weight of the door. That is so heavy, isn't it? Mm. These cannot be lightweight things to tow. No. <laughs> These cannot be lightweight. Because the way, listen to that door shut, look. Absolute quality. Lovely gas stove in there. Paraffin. Paraffin, is it? Paraffin stove. It's mm. paraffin, not gas. That mm. is unbelievable. It's all linked to a paraffin cooker right here. A paraffin cooker as well. This is beautiful. My Rachel would love that in here. We'll have to get Mrs. Man Cave in here because she would love this. Look at all the original Bush radio. This is just phenomenal. Wow. Wow. Look at this stuff. They have retrofitted a nice shower in there, but everything's so original. The Never marble. Changed, yeah. No, the marbling effect. Pro proper toilet in here now. But this marble effect on the walls is just amazing. Oh, I had no idea this thing was got to be in such nice condition in here. Mm. It don't look up from the outside, look outside it? No. it looks like you're going to come in here and the roof will be collapsed, no. but us dry as a bill. It'll be recycled, never be towed again. It'll be recycled and, and kept here. And lived in. Lived in. Yeah. If not by one of my children, it'll be an Airbnb for Brands Hatch here. Oh, damn good idea. Yeah. Because yeah. what, well, you quarter a mile from Brands Hatch? If 500, that, 500 yards. 500 yards there. from the entrance to Brands Hatch, yeah. So if you come to Brands Hatch, you can stop at an Airbnb here. That's it, sir. So yeah, if you come. Uh, with a breakfast thrown in. That's it, you'll get a breakfast thrown in and this could be your Airbnb. Maybe not for a month or two, but in time. Tell you, seldom am I surprised. Or when I see this thing from outside, I had no idea it was going to be that nice inside. I can now see that if this was cleaned and pressure washed and the trims put back in, it would look phenomenal. It really would. Is that a steering wheel steer the back axle? Rear wheel steering. When you get the tight gap, you can steer it. So I wondered what this was. Yeah, it's a chain effect that turns the axle. So that's a chain under there. Chain like under the like an old traction engine where yeah, they turn yeah, the front yeah, axle. Same. Same. Yeah, so that steering wheel will actually turn your back axle so you can rear steer it into a spot. Because how long was this? 42 foot. 42 foot. Now that's one hell of a caravan. I'll tell you, I'm... I think she's weighing in at about six or seven tons. Six or seven tons, got to be, in it? Yeah, got to be, yeah. Yeah. I had no idea it was that well made. That is just beautiful. Right, we've had a look around here for the minute. We will try and get in one of them sheds in a bit. See you very soon. Ah! Coming out of this caravan, you know we spotted the shed inside the building well, so you know this is not staged, <laughs> there it is. I've actually built the shed around the bloody tree and put my head flashing around her. <laughs> Look at that, the shed coming out, the tree coming out of a shed. <laughs> That's tickled me. All right, here we go, we have to climb up. I've been told to come in this, what's this called? I... That's, a, that's a Philips Showman's wagon. Philips Showman's wagon. Look at the lovely window in the front of that thing. Right, I've been told to shin my ass up here. Ugh. In um, poor state, but... And that's in poor state, but apparently that's worth a look. I'm treading on a starter motor. There we go. We ain't going to go through the floor, are we? No, you're on the floor. Oh, my word. Look in here. Let me put a flash on. Flash not available. Why is my flash not available? Flash not available with wide lens. Ah, right, we're not on a wide lens. We have some body panels in here or something. I've 
the old coat. Cool, the old floor is still. Wow! Look at the mirrors in this. Complete with bird's nest. Oh, this is surprisingly dry in here as well. This is a quite un look at the old TV look. Little 14 inch with the manual dial. Oh, there's a baby tally in there. Look. Look at this. Wow. Can't believe all these mirrors are still intact in here. Yeah, yeah it's been sold, this one. I say this one apparently has been sold. And it's going to be restored. Yeah, well, it needs restoring. Got yeah. a, apart from this bit in the ceiling and there, mm. you know, that's very doable, isn't it? Yeah, this is the bedroom in. I say this is be your bedroom. Even the door still closed, look. Please lock me away. There we go. Yeah, this is unbelievable in here. Look at this. Pair of classic Mark 1 wings for a Mark 1 Range Rover. Is that what Mark 1 Range Rover wings look? Classic. Bloody hell. Well, they alloy. Hmm? They proper alloy ones. Yeah. They are alloy. Because they're light, aren't they? Yeah. They look brand new, aren't they? Brand new. Brand new Mark 1 Range Rover wings, look. Whoops. Look at them. Unbelievable. Look at all the panel. Whoa, all the panel work in here. There's a little hand crank mangle. I like the little drip tray, look. So you put this on suction cups. That's metal as well, look. Crikey. So you put that on the suction cups on your little on your, on your draining board, do a crank and wring your tea towels out. Unbelievable. And we think that they are wishbones for a CF. They're, they're a Vauxhall, but we don't know what model. Ah! All new ones. All right, CFs, aficionados. Are these top arms for a bed Ford CF? Oh, there's an AC Delco fuel filter there for something. Going off topic now, I don't know. So are they Bedford CF? There's brake linings in there, look. What are, these, what are these piston rings or something? Perkins power pipe. Yeah, that'll be piston ring sets yeah. for a Perkins diesel, look. Yeah. Don't tell you what engine they are. I don't know. If they're CF parts, that could be a 4108. Did they put in the CF? What they call it? The oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Oh, there's an old stove, look. Old wood burning stove. Bloody glock and spiel. Ah, it's lovely stuff, isn't it? Look at all this belt. So, yes, I think we're going to be breaking into. I spot a bell. Proper old brass. Look at them rocker cover gaskets. For Bedford, yeah. Look at them all. Brand new ones. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at all these cork rocker cover gaskets. Oh my word, look at that bell. Oh, I don't know what that bell come off. I've got to be careful here because I'm, I'm six foot up here and I don't want to break this machine. God damn, how we're standing on an axle. Health and safety is a riot around here. HMS hood. Uh, I dived down and got it off it. <laughs> HMS hood. Look at that bell. Look. Isn't, isn't cool. Oh, shame the clanger ain't in there. Do your bell. Look at that. That's a heavy little sod. I was going to say, you two are my brothers. I love it. Look at that bell. You know, I'm looking for an old nut to strike it with. <laughs> that ain't even cracked, listen. Last orders, please. Ain't that beautiful? I'm just, I, can't, I can't get this man on camera. So I'm not holding the thing. Do you think they're, you think they're CF? Because we don't know. They're Vauxhall. Anyone know what they are? Drop it in the comments if you do. There's a part number. That's a different Brand new top arms again. Jesus. And there's about 10 available. There's ten, about 10 of them. Look at this lovely old tire inflator. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Lovely old signs. I tell you, I could get lost in this place. 
could get lost in here. Just look at all this kelter. Oh, there's that little Stuart engine. Park drive. Right, we're getting carried away. We're going to have to break into that shed over there because I'm we're itching to see what's in it. Ah. Here we go. Right, guys, here we go. We've got the gas sacks. And we're going to come into this shed and set fire to the damn building while we're at it. I think we might end up setting out to the shed. Ah, um, well, you don't burn the bloody shed down. There we go. Ah. She's open. Oh. Burn. Oh my giddy arm. I think I've got to put that in. Yeah, <laughs> burn the cobweb. Look at that. Well, there's tiles in there. We've got just a set of tyres in this shed. What's in the cabin? Stuff. Inner tubes, look. Valves. Whoops. I think we've got an outfit there. Who's just popped off? Crikey. So there's tyres in this shed. I certainly woke the spider up. Then we've got to gas the lock off of this shed. There's a nice little trailer buried in there, look. There is. Bugger me. And here we go for lock two. So we cut the lock off this shed. We're now coming to this shed. Meet a room. We have a sneaky feeling there's a generator in there. Whoop, oh, I heard it hit the deck. There it is. Hang on, we're on fire. I set and look for the bloody bramble. There you go. Alright. Cool. Oh my god. Yeah. Is there a catch on the bottom of this? Oh, there is. Oh, oh Jesus. That's, they got sticks on getting cobwebs. Uh, Where's yeah. this old bit of wood here, look? So I'm just warm them cobwebs up. There we go. I'll brown them up with you, that fine. Poof. Poof. All right. Oh, I see a little old bloody LD diesel there, look. Oh, Jesus, look in here, guys. Ah, oh. There's boxes of tradesmen's, um, fairman's bulbs, look. Oh, look at this for a time capsule. Wow, a CS61. That's got the kidney flywheel, so this is definitely startomatic. You can see the cell start solenoid for the startomatic there. Look at, see this that when that energizes. How these things work is here's your control box. These actually switch on when you put a load more than thirty watts on them. So if you had something plugged in, you flick the switch. There's a giant capacitor behind there, which then energizes the system, which energizes 
the relay to the battery, which then pulls this decompressor out, and it turns the dynamo on. The dynamo turns the engine, and when it goes up to a certain speed, this releases, decompress the engine, the engine starts, start running that. When the revs go over a certain RPM, this then becomes a generator, not the dynamo. Absolutely fantastic bits of kit, these. Still used in small holdings and yes this is a 240 volt set as well not a 110 so oh looks like we have we've had a historic water leak around the back here but nothing major at all original fuel tank and it's still got the weight look it's still got the weight with the so you can see how high up the diesel is look there's a little float on there and that sinks, and this weight tells you how high your diesel is. Old telephone. Look at that little old telephone here, look. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, that's your mother. Right. Oh, pet of universe. Look at that sign with the lights around it. Oh, you put bulbs around that, and that lights that old pet of sign up. Now, this place gets better and better. Look what we found in here. Look what we found under this wing. Oh my word. There's another pet lighter. There's another pet of light set. Oh, that is wicked, look. The batteries are even there. There is another pet of light set in here. Oh, this is phenomenal. All this stuff in here look at all these gears i hope you guys can actually see all this look at these original glowing fuses in there you do realize there's a pet of light set in here as well no nope. i found the j type wings out rob no oh. you got another one well, uh... you got another pet of light in there the whole set mate what, all up the back yeah it's got the dynamo on and everything can we lift that wing out? Yeah. Hang on, guys. Well, there we go. Oh, wow. This, oh, look at that. This uh, is phenomenal. Here we have, and it turns, Peta Acorn Top. Peta M Acorn Top Light and Set. That is gorgeous. Look at that one. That is lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like a very light recommission and that would be a runner again. I reckon a really good check over them wires, a good clean, good service. I reckon that would go again quite easily. It looks a runner. That is lovely. That's nice. Marvellous. Well, we are getting some stuff out. We're unclearing stuff. Here's that old compressor we could barely see. Isn't that a beast? She got the Jap 55 on there. You can see that list of Beno, that CS, that BAM Ford SG. Big old generator. And all the other stuff. And there's a big diesel welder there. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? That is marvellous. Everything's coming out nicely. this video as you can see we are bought some stuff and there's more well ah oh, folks and it's been a crazy weekend i would like to say a very very big hello to jean who's 89 probably my oldest subscriber let me know if you're 
older than that. And of course, Rob for his help. Very much appreciated. Lovely to meet you, mate. And of course, to our host, Steve and Lulu, who put us up. And yeah, really grateful you had us down, guys. Thanks for your hospitality. It means an awful lot. We will see you again, I am sure. Right, we're going to end this video right now. And yes, this is all in memory of Derek Matthews. Dale Boy Matthews, who was so good to keep and preserve all of this old stuff. Even if he never went out to look at it in later years for whatever reason, it was so good, it was still there. And yep, if you listen up there, buddy, all the stuff's gone to a good home. It's gone to true collectors and we will look after it, do it and show it. Right, that's it for this video. Bye bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a long one, but I hope it's been worth it. It's been a fantastic weekend. Ta-da, guys. Ha-ha!